Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to discuss the difference between a sine wave inverter system and a modified sine wave inverter system. And to stand in for our sine wave inverter system, we're going to use the AC electrical system. And what we're looking at right here is a voltage waveform on the AC electrical system. And you can see it's a nice and symmetrical waveform, which is what you would expect from the AC electrical system. The modified sine wave inverter system has a very different waveform, as we will see later. But if this was a sine wave inverter, there may be a little bit of distortion on that waveform, but it wouldn't be too much. And I'm going to put a load on so you can see the current waveform. So the current waveform is now shown in yellow, and you can see it almost exactly copies the voltage waveform. And that's the way resistive 60 watt light bulbs function on the AC electrical system. So that's very, very typical of what you would expect to see. So we're going to take a look at that current waveform. So we're going to use a function known as the fast Fourier transform function. And you can see the 60 hertz fundamental frequency of the system right here. And we can see that we've got three harmonic frequencies shown on the display. But the rest of the display is actually quite clean. And we're actually on 20 decibels in the vertical direction. And we're on 250 hertz per division in the horizontal direction. And if this was a sine wave inverter system, you would ex expect to see a few more spikes in this area as they tend to have more harmonics than what the AC electrical system has. Now, I've been measuring some AC sine wave inverter systems recently, and they typically have harmonics going out to about one and a half kilohertz. So you'd see many more spikes on the screen. So we're going to turn off this function. So we're back to our nice symmetrical sine waves on both the voltage and current. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to the modified sine wave inverter system. Uh, I think you're going to be quite surprised at how different it is. So we're now plugged in to the modified sine wave inverter system. And I'm going to switch it on. So what you can see right now is you can see the square waves. So that's how these function. They basically produce a negative square wave and a positive square wave. And there's a little gap between them. And it's supposed to simulate a sine wave, but you know, it very clearly isn't a sine wave. But what they do do is they create a lot of noise. And that's what we're looking at on the current waveform. So we can see there's a lot of electrical noise on the system. And that's electromagnetic interference. And these modified sine wave inverter systems are very prone to producing this electromagnetic interference. And electromagnetic interference is also known as dirty electricity when it's applied to the electrical system. And it can actually make you quite sick. So let's turn on a load and see what happens. So here's our light bulb on the modified sine wave inverter system. So you can see it's actually quite different. And you see there's a lot of electromagnetic interference in there. So let's put it onto the frequency analyzer, the fast Fourier transform function. So we're on the same scale as before. We've got 20 decibels in the vertical direction. And we've got 250 hertz per division in the horizontal direction. And you can see we've got many, many more spikes. So we've got the fundamental frequency followed by lots of odd harmonics. So I'm going to expand out this display and I'm interested to see how far that goes. So you can see that it's pretty much all in this area on the screen and we're actually on one kilohertz per division. So that means we're actually looking at a good 10 kilohertz of electromagnetic interference noise that this device is producing. And it's very, very different from the sine wave system. And that's the reason why I did this video, just to let you know that there's a very, very big difference between a sine wave inverter and a modified sine wave inverter. And the sine wave inverter tends to be a very clean system, 
and the modified sine wave inverter system tends to be a very dirty electrical system and I actually don't recommend people to use these modified sine wave inverter systems to power off-grid homes as you may actually get quite sick in an off-grid home that is powered by one of these devices due to the dirty electricity that it produces. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.